But without further ado, let's get this party started. Um, this is going to be a real light one because I know tomorrow is going to be a real heavy show. So it ain't no use getting into two back-to-back -back heavy discussions on some things. It's kind of light compared to what we normally deal with. So, you know, there's some going to be some people that's going to look at it and go, that's a real heavy conversation. Uh, <laughs> compared to not really. Am I wrong for considering leaving my wife? Part one. Okay, here we go. My wife, 30 female, and I, 32 male, have been married for six years. We have two kids aged one and three. She's a stay-at-home mom, and I work a regular nine-to-five job Monday through Friday. We take turns looking after the kids when I get home on the weekends. She does most of the household chores, but we do split the cooking. I appreciate all she's done for the kids and for the house. However... Over the past year, since we had our second kid, she has become emotionally distant, and I find it hard to strike meaningful conversations with her. Our sex life is great, but apart from that, she seems to not want to put in the mental effort to have conversations. It's all really bland, and our whole life has become really monotonous. I fell in love with her because we used to have such great conversations and joke around and emotionally meshed really well together. Now it just isn't the case anymore. She doesn't want to have fun. She doesn't even want to have fun, like go on dates or have movie nights. She does enjoy sex, but that's about it. She doesn't even hang out with any of her friends and just has a sad demeanor around her. She's just stuck in the house all day. I do not enjoy living with her anymore. I fell in love with her personality and her joyful energy, and this is no longer the person who I fell in love with. I've been hanging out with my sister, 29 female, more frequently over the last few months. My wife doesn't even care who I hang out with or if I'm home late. It's like she's given up on the relationship altogether. Hanging out with my sister has been such a mental relief for me as I have someone else I can talk to and have meaningful conversations with. Someone I can talk to about life. We hang out a couple days a week and it's the part of the week I look forward to most. Not your kids. Not your family. We plan out picnics, movie nights, dinners, brunches. My sister told me I should consider divorcing my wife because she isn't meeting my emotional needs and I agree. I appreciate my wife for taking care of the house and the kids. If we do proceed with the divorce, I'm fine with the house going to my wife. I would just move in with my sister temporarily till I find a new house. I do still plan on being actively involved in my kids' lives as they are the two people I love most in the world. Got to call bullshit on you right now, sir. I am probably going to proceed with the divorce, but a part of me cannot just forget the years we've been together. It makes me sad that it's come to this stage. This will come as a massive shock to my wife if I bring the divorce topic up. A small part of me thinks I am wrong for doing this and a massive asconaut, but have I been left with any choice? Somebody else want to go first? Because I'm not kind of long. Okay. Um, if, if I may... I yep. uh, one first a question. He said uh, he was thirty two, wife is thirty, they're on baby number two. Did they did he say how long they were together? Six years. Yeah. Married okay. six years. Married six okay, okay. So um postpartum is uh in an incredible thing and it happens differently um, with each baby and there were certain things that you said sir that when you were describing your wife it's like she has no more intellectual prowess anymore it's like she doesn't why don't you Ask her. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I know. Silly. Um, you're still, you're assuming a hell of a lot. But, yes, having a baby changes your brain. Funny that. And it takes a while for some women to find themselves again. Do you 
really think that she is happy? Going through the motions, taking care of the kids, taking care of the house. I mean, cool, you're having sex. Um, I don't know. There, there was a whole lot of assumption. I know the story is not over yet. If I could throw a little wager out, a lot of people are going to tell him, dude, yeah. You are being an astronaut and have some patience. It, it takes a lot to form a new human. And it takes sometimes years to feel like yourself again. 